All right, guys, welcome back to the uh, final section of the Learn C++ loops. So, um, you know, oftentimes in your code, you're going to want to repeat the same action again and again and again, um, or iterate through a whole list of data. And uh, that's what we're gonna be probably covering in loops as well as arrays and lists and all that sort of stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> Hey guys, I want to take a moment to recommend Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp to you. Dev Mountain's been a long-term sponsor of mine. I appreciate their support as I've helped grown the channel and tell everyone about their great facilities. I've actually been to their Provo, Utah campus, and it's beautiful. So if you're interested in a full-stack JavaScript bootcamp, they provide housing alongside the tuition, so you can get up and go today. They're one of the most affordable boot camps in the world, in the States, and I highly suggest you check them out at devmountain.com. All righty, so here we go. Um, they have this nice little wonderful animated loop. Uh, for the most part, uh, it looks like we're going to be covering two types of loops, the wall loops and the for loops. Um, and we'll dive in a little bit about each one of those So as we go. So here's a while loop. A while loop, similar to our if statement, evaluates to a Boolean. And while what's in here is true, it's going to reiterate through our code. Now, what this means is that you need to, you need to make sure that every iteration, uh, that your while loop doesn't create an infinite loop where then you're, you're just stuck. Um, right, so if we were to run this, uh, compile and execute, oh yeah. So G plus plus, enter underscore pin uh, dot CPP, uh, press, and then they want us to run it, so that would be dot A dot out. All right, enter your pin, so we'll do one, one, one. Enter your pin, 2019, enter your pin, 1234. All right, pin accepted, we got it. Very nice, so it worked, everything's good to go. Um, you know, it gave us three tries to do it, um, so on and so forth. Cool. Um, the while loop, as mentioned, is kind of looks similar to an if statement, except it continues to run while that condition is true. So remember our if, so we have a condition here that evaluates to a Boolean, and then the logic within it. Yeah, so in this case, uh, I think this is a great way of putting this. In other words, instead of executing if something is true, it executes while that thing is true. So it continues to execute. So uh, inside guess.cpp, we have a program that asks the user to guess a number between one and 10, and the answer is eight. So now instead of asking for the user to answer it once, let's add a while loop uh, where they can answer it up to 50 times. So what we'll do here, right? So while the guess is not correct, and we're gonna use that not equal operator. So while it's not equal to eight, and, and uh, I don't think we talked about how to concatenate multiple conditions, but this and operator will say, while this is not true, and uh, this other item is not true and tries is less than 50, we're gonna do some stuff, right? That's our condition. Both of those are evaluating and they both need to be true. If one fails, they, um, it's, it's gonna break out there. All right, let's run our code. Very nice. So um, they gave us a little bit of hand-holding here. So write this while loop in C++. So they want us to print this out. Uh, I don't know. So this is gonna be the I square. And, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. So we're going to print out a number and then we're gonna print out the squared version of it. Shouldn't be too bad. So um, we're gonna start with a wall and what is the end condition? Uh, uh, so while I 
is less than 10 would be a good condition, right? Because um, we want it to iterate out. And so we're going to use the uh, C out library again. And the first thing we're going to see out is I. And we'll put a space. And then we're going to see out uh, um, I. I guess square. We'll do this square is equal to I times I. And then we're going to, so we're going to initialize that every iteration. And then we're going to put out square. And then we're also going to increase i at the end. So that i plus plus is going to, um, actually, I don't think we've talked about that, but that should increment it by 1. So i plus plus. So now when we run it, you'll see that we have. It doesn't. It didn't do it horizontally, but you guys get the idea. It goes zero, zero, then one, one, then two, one. Um, I should have done a, uh, a a line break just uh, for demonstration purposes. So that's a while loop. You set your condition, it runs until it breaks, right? Until it's false. So for loop is when we know exactly how many iterations we want to have, and we're going to iterate through that. So a for loop has three main parts. It has the initial value we're keeping track of. You can think of it almost as a variable assignment. You have, this is your iterator. It has a break condition where um, while this is true, continue doing this. So that's what this is. So, our, And then it has the each iteration increase that iterator variable that we created. So uh, we're going to start at zero. Is zero less than 10? Yeah. So we're going to run what's inside here. When it's done running, what does it say? It's saying i is equal to i plus one. So we're going to increase it by one. So now it's going to go one. It's one less than that, so on and so forth. And it's going to keep running until this condition here, while until i is no longer less than 10. Um, so we run this. Uh, this should print out nine times or ten times because zero one all the zero to, So we get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Yeah ten because we count zero It doesn't print out eleven because I because ten is not less than ten thus it doesn't continue to print out So how would we you know, let's write our own so write a 99 bottles CPP program that prints the verses of the 99 bottles song Um you know, we only showcase uh, incrementing for loops, but you can also decrement similar to here. So let's decrement because we're gonna already have uh, the number of bottles. So they're giving us the print here. So how many bottles are we gonna start I off at? Well, I is gonna start off at 99. And we're gonna say, well, I is greater than zero. We wanna run that. And much like how I++ adds one to our iterator value, this is going to uh, minus one. And so we're going to do std colon colon c out, and then we'll do i, oops, i space um, bottles of pop on the wall, period, and then backslash in. And then uh, keep it going. And then here we'll take one down and pass it around. <laughs> Period. Uh, and we're going to do another line. And last piece. That's going to be n minus 1. So we'll just do i minus 1 in this case. Um, they use n, I use i. Um, i is typically the, the standard. Uh, I would say for your uh, for loops. Um, and uh, finally, uh, space, and this is going to be bottles of pop and wall. And we're going to need a space here as well. Period. And let's run our stuff. And so you can see we're starting all the way up at 99 bottles on the wall, take take one down, pass it around, 98 bottles of bottle on, so on and so forth. I should put another line break on the end of that, but you guys get the idea. 
So that's loops. That's how you iterate through your code. Um, it's, you know, uh, not too, too difficult. They are a core fundamental of programming. But again, if you've never coded before, it might be something that might intimidate you a little bit. But um, get comfortable with it and practice them. And it's um, going to be part of any programming language, C++, JavaScript, Java, whatever you, you do. Um, it's a fundamental, and you got to learn fundamentals inside and out. So I hope you guys found that helpful. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and check out my courses and some of the books I recommend in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course, get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.